What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be talking about the Casio EX-M20 which is a camera that over the last couple of months became my favorite camera to use. So let's get started. So first off, I have two of these wearable card cameras. One is the EX-M20 and one is the EX-S3. Now I'm mostly gonna talk about the EX-M20 because this has been the camera that I've been using the most and I didn't really find that many differences in between those cameras. But if there are any differences, I'm gonna point them out to you guys. So let's talk about the size of this camera. It's a pretty small camera, as you can see. Um, it's been branded as a wearable card camera, so as you can expect, it's about the size of a credit card. The M20 is made out of metal, and as you can see, my M20 has been used a lot. When I bought this camera, it was already in this condition, but I don't really mind, since uh, it only makes me more comfortable just throwing it in my bag and not having to worry about it, you know, scratching or breaking. The screen on this camera is very small, but it works as intended. The viewing angles are not that great, but I still really like it since you can just have a preview of the shot you're gonna take. As you can see, it's a pretty simple menu. It can be a bit clunky, but I don't really use it that much since all I need to do is switch between video and photo mode um, or switch between, you know, looking at my pictures or taking pictures. Now for the looks of this camera, I really like how this camera looks. I get a lot of compliments when I whip it out in front of people and they're not intimidated by this camera because it's such a small camera. People always want to take pictures or, you know, try to see what it is because they've never seen a camera like this one before. This is nice because I've been noticing that people get more relaxed when I whip out such a small camera as this one instead of like having a big DSLR or my main mirrorless camera. Now as far as the S3 goes, it's a slightly bigger camera, but to me the main difference is that this camera is made out of plastic. Except for the front panel which is made out of metal, the body is made out of plastic, which really adds to a flimsy kind of feel to this camera. This also means that I feel less confident taking this camera with me, because it feels less sturdy than the metal M20. The screen on the S3 is bigger, but I don't know why, but the viewing angles on the S3 are worse. This makes it more difficult to take good pictures because it's like once you turn it just a little bit, the photos will look weird. Um, I don't know why that is, but oh well. The batteries on these cameras are the same, which is really nice. So I bought 10 of them. These are new batteries though, and for me they last pretty long, but maybe if you buy a second hand M20 or S3, the batteries might die really quick. So let's talk about the image quality on these cameras. The M20 has a 2 megapixel sensor and the S3 has a 3 megapixel sensor. I didn't really notice that much difference in the pictures, so I'm just gonna talk about them as one and show the pictures of the M20. Back in 2002, 2 megapixels might have been a lot, but once you look at these photos on a monitor, you can definitely tell that this camera is 20 years old. That's also kind of tricky when you're taking a picture and view them on this screen because they might look really good and then you're gonna look at them on a monitor and they look really terrible. This picture quality definitely has a charm to it though and I really like the aesthetic this camera gives. Just like a disposable camera, these pictures have a certain vibe to them or authenticity. Uh, I don't know how to explain it but it just feels different. Especially when taking a picture with the flash on, which I always do, even in the daytime, because it just enhances this feeling of old cameras. Now the low light performance can be really bad if you don't use a flash or have a lot of lights in the scene, but as you can see, these pictures turned out great because I'm using a flash and the scene is properly lit. Now I don't edit every photo I take because once I start doing that I quickly notice that I try to get rid of the digital distortion which is actually what makes this camera so much fun to use and gives it its characteristics. However sometimes I do edit the picture a lot and as you can see I applied a digital printer texture to this photo and corrected some colors and that really gives a nice effect to these pictures. The highlights are still clipping and it certainly still has this vibe to it but you get so much detail back and yeah, it, it just helps the overall aesthetic of the photo. Now for the video quality. It's just really pixelated and distorted. 
In my opinion, it looks really nice if you keep it still, but once you start moving the camera, as you can see, it gets kind of shaky and you don't really see it that much. Also, the frame rate is 14 frames per second, I believe, so it's not smooth at all. So let me explain why this has been my favorite camera to use over the last couple of months. So for me this camera made me take pictures in a completely different way. It's just a point and shoot and I've never had a point and shoot where I can just point and shoot I guess. I don't have to worry about the ISO, the shutter speed or the lens that is attached to this camera. I'll just take a picture and I look at them when I get home. Now it's also very different than taking a picture on a phone, which to me, every time someone's taking a picture on a phone, it feels like they're only taking a picture to post it on their Instagram story or send it as a Snapchat. Maybe that's also the reason why people really like to use analog cameras these days, because you can just take a picture and you have to develop them to see what you got. Now what's also really nice about this camera is that the pictures or videos don't take up too much space. I have a two gigabyte card in this camera right now and I believe one picture is one megabyte so you can take 2000 pictures. So you're good on space I'd say. So that's about it for this video. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, I kind of underestimated how much effort I would have to put in to make a video like this. So a like would really be appreciated. Hit that sub button if you're interested and maybe I'll see you next time. Cheers.